recording is ready to go. This is my first time in Cadiz. Oh, really? Yep, first time ever. Welcome to Cadiz. Yeah, looks like my kind of place. So we're here in Trigg County today with Brad Wheatley. Now, Brad may look familiar to you because uh, <laughs> last time we were on the water together. We were, a little warmer too. <laughs> hey, but you know what? I love the fishing part, but this is maybe one of my favorite things to do. Hunting behind a couple dogs like this, you can't beat it. You got a couple of your law enforcement buddies out with you today. Well, true. As some of you know, I'm retired. Yeah. <laughs> retired state trooper, and I have uh, two other troopers with me that's retired. One's retired uh, post commander, Nathan Kent, and the other one's retired assistant post commander, Rudy Adams. All right, fantastic. Well, I'll tell you, you got some great dogs, and it looks like this piece of property ought to hold some bunnies. It will, it will. We're not in the prime of it right now, but we're going to get there. We've got two young dogs. They don't know when to bark yet and when not to, but they're <laughs> learning. They're just, this is their first year on the ground. Two of them are old, experienced dogs. That's ones you're not hearing. And the other ones, uh, they're, they're young, but they're coming. They're doing that just to keep us interested. Well, all that keeps me, keeps me wondering, what, what are you doing here? <laughs> all uh, right, they're headed, they're headed into well, the better spot. get after We might as well go up there and check on that. That's a new rabbit hot trail. That sounds really good. Coming at you! Coming at you! Yep, in here, Dad. Yep, in here. Good, good, good boy, good boy. Yep, in here. Now these dogs are, they're stoked. They're stoked and they're probably now on the second phantom rabbit who, who knows where it came from <laughs> that just ran by everybody a while ago. Well, while we were sitting down here watching this corner, we saw the other rabbit take off right out this fence line out there in that field. So we were just moving, making our way that way when a second rabbit come up. Who knows? Could be two or three more in here. There could be. It's a great place. Look at that. There goes a the rabbit outside. There right he there. goes. Dog, gone it. <laughs> As we speak. Now we're rabbit hunting. There's three rabbits at least. Right there. In that pod, yeah. Find him in here. Put him up. Find him. Find him. Put him up. See if we can cut this thing off a little bit. This rabbit was coming back down through that heavy brush, sneaking his way out of harm's way. But conversely, he is now headed for the dinner table. Now that is a big spot with some rabbit habitat, though. Mike, you've got a beautiful piece of property. Thank you, sir. And it holds a lot of game. What makes the rabbit hunting so good is that you've left plenty of area on the fence line. We got some good buddies that we hunt with every year and families growing up enjoying to hunt and we just try to leave the natural habitat for these animals. It's really about training dogs. Oh, it's, it's every day is a dog training day. It's all about the dogs. If I didn't have dogs, even if I had a place I knew I could go kill rabbits, I probably wouldn't because yeah. I'm more interested in training the dogs. You know there's a rabbit in there somewhere. There you go. Told you there was a rabbit in there. Oh yeah, we got that one. Yeah, that's what you've been after. You're a good dog. Yeah, you're easy now. That was my shot. Thank you, sir. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> 
rabbits in here, Dad? It's always good to let them find the rabbit that's been killed, and that way they'll stop trying to straighten that track out. Once they know that rabbit's dead, then they'll leave that track alone completely. Good, 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 good. Now they got over there to Nathan's rabbit that he killed a few minutes ago. So now they know that's a dead track. They know this is a dead track. So when they come back in here, they won't be bothered with that scent or those two rabbits anymore. And they'll go to find them another rabbit. Dog's doing good. They're not a bad pack. I've had better. I've had better, Chad, but this is not a bad pack. That short dog is showing some real promise. Get that nose. That's a year and a half old dog. And he's as good right now as some dogs I've bought and paid good money for that were supposed to be good. Right here, right here. Right, coming at you. Coming out. Another one, watch out. <laughs> what you gotta find is a young dog, a pup dog, that just loves to hunt. He doesn't have to have the best nose in the world, but he has to want to hunt. And he's got to hunt them like he's mad at them. Little short dog. See, look at him, look yeah. at him. See, he, he wants them. <laughs> I mean, he's got to have them. That's my kind of dog. That's what I'm looking for in a dog. One that just won't give up trying to get the rat. <laughs> This is my first trip down to Katy, and I'll tell you, good habitat, a lot of game, great dogs, and some passionate outdoorsmen. So it was more than I expected, I'll tell you. It was a great time. We've had a big day. It's it was been a, it fun. Was a lot of fun. Glad you got your mate. Stay on rabbits. You got a beautiful piece of property here. Thank you. Kept us on rabbits the entire time. Dogs did good. All of them have a little bit of blood on their tail, which uh, means we know they worked hard and stayed in the briars. They did do that. And uh, obviously, they pushed a bunch of rabbits back around to us. Thanks again. A lot of fun. I enjoyed being out with you guys. Appreciate A lot it. of fun. Thank you. Thank you.